What's up everybody, this is your DGE Orgasm, and I'd like to teach you all how to make professional mixtapes like a professional DJ at the same time with the program called Propeller Heads Reason and its add-on Record. The only device you should be using this record to make this all possible. Now there's two apps you're gonna need. The first one you're definitely gonna need is called Winamp. Winamp uh, allows you to convert your MP3 and MP4 files to WAV format, which is the only way that this is going to work for the reason record. That's the only way to move a song into the record. And from there, you're also gonna need this other uh, application it's called Engine. That's gonna be uh, helping you out when you're trying to make mega mixes it'll determine the beats per minute of each track that you're trying to use so that's very helpful and of course this is uh, my personal option download YouTube downloader video downloader uh, you might be able to download some videos for free but I pay a subscription so I pretty sure it's legit alright so Here's how we're gonna do it, okay? You have yourself a song, we're gonna say it's an MP4 video and you want to convert it to WAV. So you're gonna go to your Winamp, open it. Winamp's gonna pop up. I'm gonna move it to right here. That's the one I got. I go send to, format converter. This will pop up, choose WAV, and then hit OK. Once it's finished downloading, you'll have a little file on your page. You open that up, and there it is, the WAV file. And you just close everything. Uh, this is what I would do if I wanted to try to s save the file name. I would go back to the original file and I would just copy the name because not the because the whole name doesn't uh, move so you're just gonna have to manually do it yourself and then you can just delete the rest so right we got dog blood right here that's a, now a WAV format as you can see and from there we can actually now start adding it so now we're going to open up our document. This is now the record application. And then we're going to now hit file, import audio file. Then we choose the song. And that was the dog blood. Hit open. And it's going to pop up at the bottom. Now you have the sound waves right here shown right in front of you and in this page you can zoom in see everything you can play the music you can zoom in pretty pretty close and see everything um, you can uh, change the way the the track starts you can uh, make it start later or you could just give it a gradual start when I do this, I usually take off the bar. I unclick it so I could just do this as freely as I like. Um, you can also cut, cut a track and delete. If you press control Z, see, there we go, control Z. This part comes back kind of useful to uh, backtracking because I don't see it anywhere on here where it says that um, see let's zoom back out you can even end a track to make it uh, quieter towards the end uh, you can also just create new audio track 
and we will just uh, let's select the cut function and then we'll go back to the arrow drag this one so you put it like this this is a way I like to do it when I try to transfer tracks I have it slowly going down in volume and the next part going up so somewhere in between you'll have a balance there and it'll just change and you can uh, hear it on your own to know if it works or not um, you have the master uh, volume we're to play it you can see it up here you for most parts you don't want your tracks to go into the red do not play with this master slave you want to use this one this is the one that controls this bar alone let's see if we could see a highlighted every time I click and the other one goes for the other one so So you always got to pay attention to this bar and this bar. You can also just switch this out. So when you have a huge list of songs, you can uh, choose what you want in front or in the back. Um, all these other devices up here, I don't know how to use yet. Nobody has information on how to uh, utilize them, but I'm dying to know. I know there's some other functions that I've played around with and I've done one time, but I don't remember or know how to do. There's a way to uh, manipulate the, the speed, the tempo, and other things, but I don't know. So I hope somebody out there can make a video or share a link on how to do s such things. Um, you can also, like, for instance, if you're making a... If you like the song that you're adding and you think that you want to add a like an acapella, some lyrics to it. If it's just an instrumental, you can do just that. Just go back to uh, go to file, import audio after you downloaded and did all the other steps like I showed before and just choose a song. And it'll add it right to the list. And if you're adding one, it's just going to overlap. If you add two or more, it's going to create its own file destination with its own track name. Um, so like this, for instance. Yeah, you got yourself a song right here. And you wanted to have it line up perfectly with the lyrics and everything. Just zoom in all the way. Make sure it's the same beat per minute as well. That's when uh, that's when the engine program comes in handy. Try to find the original song first. See if it's the same beat per minute. Then download the acapella version. And then throw it in. Uh, it'll sound perfect. It'll sound awesome when you do it that way. That's how you can make your own custom uh, mixes that way. So like I said, this is a producer's uh, program right here, Propeller Head. So you're going to be reproducing tracks with this if you want to try to make professional mixtapes. You might not do much, but this is the same process. Instead of like having yourself uh, like, you know, your iTunes folder where the song all the way ends and then the next song comes out. This way you can make your, your own professional mixtape and have them blend in, make it sound nice for, nicer on the transfer and who knows, maybe you'll do even better. You might even throw some like other stuff that you might want to hear in the mix that might give it some spice. I've done it before, I've used Pitbull's Dale just to give it some flavor in the mix and it works. Um, I've reproduced some uh, badass mixes. Let me see. Bello Chow. Bello Chow was one of my favorite mixes I made. A remix I made. Um, well, kind of remix. I reproduced for sure. Um, what I did was with that one, and I'm the only one in the world to do it. What I did was uh, there's a section in the Bello Chow by Hardwell and Maxwell. 
That's who makes the track. There's a part early on where it's just the instrumentals. And there's a part later on in the mix, right around this section, where it's the acapella. What I did was I cut the acapella out. I moved it straight in with the instrumentals. So at the same time, when you hear the track, it sounds like one. And it sounds like it's normal. It belongs because it goes so well. So I did that there. And you can hear that on one of my... Uh, on my newest spring break mix at some point into it because uh, all my mixes are two hours long so you can hear that version it's way better than the original because the original is just instrumental or acapella and I have both blended in and it just gives it so much flavor and I can't upload it because you know copyright so I can't even show you myself what it sounds like to some degree maybe I could nah I actually can't but you're just going to check it out on my SoundCloud account. My SoundCloud account is right here. I'm going to have a link of it in the description below on the, on the YouTube page. Just click down there and it'll be on this one right here. You can hear all my mixes. All my mixes I made were with this program. And I'm pretty good at it too. So I'm going to teach you all the basics and how I do my magic. Um, like I said, you can do a whole lot of things with this program and it's so simple. It just takes a lot, a lot of work. You want to get all the lines lined up if you want to work on a transfer. And, th and I strongly recommend if you're a kind of DJ that's into trance or EDM in general. You really want to utilize this technique in order to reproduce your mixes. Uh, for instance, for me, I like to have a high tempo mixes when I DJ. So I cut out the boring section and I'll usually just keep it going. I'll cut it off early and I'll have it blend in with another track just to try to keep it lined up. See this? I try to have it lined up good. And then uh, after that song's over, I'll work on the next one, next transfer. And then I'll just, it's like, you know, you want to have it kind of like this. A good way to use utilizing this program, sometimes you'll download tracks off of the internet and they'll be off YouTube and they'll have like a little intro like you see here. This might be like a little commercialized before it, the actual song starts. You know, you know what I'm talking about. And so you could just cut that off and then you just, uh, well, you're not going to have these other tracks here. All you do is just go to file. Oh, wait, I forgot. You have to also um, limit how long the song is by go going to the E and bringing the line all the way to wherever it ends. And then from there, then you can just go file, export song as audio file, then it'll give you a name, and then you just save it. Um, that's how you get your tracks saved or produced. And then, you, you know, of course, the saving is right there on top in the file. Um, See, am I missing anything else? Oh yeah, uh, never play with this function, 120. That's just a normal tempo of everything. Uh, see, uh, like I said, okay, when, now we're gonna go into making mega mixes. I already told you the basics on how to make a track. Now I'm just gonna exit out this one right here. Now these are some of my professional mixes that I made. This one I made uh, in, uh, this is my 2018 Ultimate Dance Mix that you see on SoundCloud. And that one has about like 3,600 views. See, it's right there. And uh, this is how it kind of starts. 
if you I'm not gonna play it because of copyright but you can kind of follow it if you were to um, have a shared page let me see I'll show you right now what I'm talking about let's see just create two pages we'll imagine this side is YouTube and this is my page over here and then like when you're watching this YouTube page, when I say three, two, one, you click on play. So you can follow the lines. All right. So we're going to go right now. Three, two, one, play. Now at the start of this mix, I kind of, this part is actually the end of the song. It took me a very long time to figure out that that was the best way to start off this mix. And this is the second part, second end of the song. So I have the end, second end, and then this is the main start to the track. And then I cut it off early over here. And then I have it blended in with another song which has uh, vocals and they line up so perfect. And this track ended already, so I cut this and I transferred it here, and then I well actually I cut it, copy, and then I then I hit the Control Z button, and that's why you don't see the line. So I have that looped in right there, and then I uh, also have this next song right here. I also cut it. I, there was like another section right here. That was unnecessary, so I had to move, had the song tempo move faster and go with everything that's going on there. And there's the song names in case you want to download it and try to copy me. Kind of feel how I go with this. You can also click on these and the file will get bigger. Of course, like I said, zooming in, you can see all the all the sound waves a lot better. Let's see if you can see the lines. They're all lining up perfect. The big lines match up with the other big lines. Let's see. So yeah, that's uh that's kind of how I do it. Then at the very end of this. I have the slope, the gradual slope right here. So it just goes quiet right at the part when in, when I need it to. So it kind of blends real good. So that's just a little tip right there. Uh, there's also another tip I'd like to point out. Once this ends, uh, I'm gonna show you right now. Let's see if I could even do it right here. All right, I could do it right here. Okay, that's all I'm gonna show you right now in my mix. Um, here's another little trick I wanna show. Um, damn. Let's see. See, this song actually goes a lot longer. All right, and so what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna just cut this section right here, and then I'm gonna drag it to this section, to this song. This is another trick I could teach you because like sometimes the song starts like that and you have all these other uh, things in the way and like you want to start the gradual slope but you don't want to hear all this starting to come in to play. So to do that, you're going to have to create like do what I just did. Just a uh, get the end of a track and then you select you just click both you right click and then you put join clips now they're all one giant clip you don't hear that part before that anymore and now you could kind of gradually start from the middle point without hearing the stuff before unlike the other one well you know what I mean so it's a little trick to show you right there. Um, so yeah, 
Here's when the other part comes into play. Uh, the, like I said, you need the engine application to teach you how to uh, blend in real well. Uh, let's see. Uh, like this is, uh, let's see, is this my new one? No, this is my old one. This is my new mix right here, okay? And on the on the left is the bigger thumbnail of the song. On the right is all the songs I have right here. Whenever you're trying to make a custom mix, you want to start off with at least 70 tracks. 70 to 100 is good start. Anything less, you're gambling. The hardest part about making a mix is the start is trying to find an intro track. You could spend days to weeks trying to find an intro track that could blend in with the next track depending on how many songs you're going to be sampling each song to see which one works with which this mix it took me three hours to make this is my 2019 spring break mix and um as you see i added some like little sound effects to make the tracks go boom uh let's see as you can notice, right in front, there are numbers. Those are the beats per minutes to the tracks. I even color coordinated them just so I know that they're 150 or what 75 beats per minute. These other ones I don't really care about because they're all over the place. The 128s are all green. So I had them all kind of together. Um, the reds blend well, I mean, the 75 beats per minute blends well with 150 and vice versa. Uh, you might come across some phases where you can't transfer. The first way I started off, I was doing it by ear. I was trying to line it up with ear. And then I was also just blending it with uh, kind of like this. I would just do that. When this track is slower and this one's faster and the tempo's getting high and this one's getting higher. No, yeah, I'll have it like that. And then I'll have this one fade and this one kind of take over on the tempo like do 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 the little quick flip and then uh Yeah. That's how I do it. Another way to do a transfer now, and I'm gonna recommend it this this is strongly recommended. Get on your devices, anything like uh, Cross DJ Pro. It's not a not the Pro app because it's just the same as the regular. But get Cross DJ app for your tablets or your phone, and you can use that in order to uh, get your two songs you want to transfer and make them like make them tr transfer and blend real good. So it's like a DJ controller right in your hands, you record it, the little clip, and you send it up to SoundCloud. And then when you are when you send it to SoundCloud, you just re-download that file. You'll have it listed on your uh, download sections on your tracks. I've done this many times, so I've even got written up for copyright, but they don't do anything. But once you get a full mix done, you use that cross DJ... Uh, and you can uh, upload your full tracks without ever being copywritten. That's how I did all my tracks. So it's a little tip for you guys if you guys want to do that. Make your own mixtapes and send them out online. Then you can have them saved online and you can just, if anything happens, you could delete them. Or, or if your devices get stolen, you still have a backup online. So yeah, they just go right there. Just select, where is it? There should be somewhere where I could download. Oh. Maybe I just... Oh well, one of my tracks will have something to download. Anyways, I know it's somewhere here that you can just download your track anytime you want. I don't see how right now. It's odd. That's how I always download my tracks though, whenever I get them... Uh, recorded and transferred and so once I have the transferred uh, file I'll just uh, put it on here and 
continue the transferring of uh, the music and then I'll have it stop at that certain point and then I'll just have it like have the regular track play and the beat per minute will go back to normal so you kind of want to have the track stop right at like a certain point you know where you can get away with transferring the beat per minute back to normal but try to have a very little uh, difference between beats per minute on the transfers. I recommend whenever you're doing a mix, start off at 75 beats per minute, as low as you can, and then go as, just continue the mix as high as you can. Or if you can't even find something to transfer with and you just want to get it over with, skip that track that's low and try to find the next best solution until you finally figure out what's next all right so that's pretty much how to work with this uh program um recent record that's how i do my djing i it could take you guys days weeks months depending on how long your track is but this is a you'll find this to be very fun to do and you'll be make making mixes, and heck, you could even ghost DJ with this. That's what I kind of do. And it's uh, everything that you play on this, you know, once you get it all finished, everything will be transferred so good, and people will be like, wow, how do you do it? How do you make it? And Anyways, you'll, you'll see firsthand just how good this little technique I just taught you how to do. All right, so once again, I'm DJ Eargasm. I want you guys to check out my mixes. Uh, Please comment on them. I know you guys are going to enjoy them. This is my number one right here. The best one. Even though this one is getting all the raves. Um, these other mixes are okay. But my first mix I ever made was three hours long. You can see it right here. Let's see if I could. Oh, well. I tried to show. Three hours long. One hour long. Two hours Two hours, two hours. I like to make two hour mixes. Uh, usually have at least 130 songs. Most of them I just cut out because I don't use them or they just don't fit in right. And most of these tracks, you just gonna have to hear this, hear if the beat matches the next one, and try to line them up perfectly as much as possible. See if it just lines up. Just go to a track. Zoom in all the way and try to have them line up perfectly. Like, boom, line, line, line. And if it's off, you just move it a little bit to that direction. Then just play it. You'll hear it. You'll know. Bam, money. All right. So that's a little tip from me to you. Hope you guys like it. Uh, you won't find anything else like this information online, so please comment below if you have another link similar to this. I'm dying to learn more on everything about this. Um, well, that's about it. From me to you, DJ Eargasm, peace out, guys.